Hey guys, it's Tamara from the Butts Family Homestead. I wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little bit information about who we are, what we're doing, and why we're doing it. So we are a family of five. It's myself, my husband, and our three kids who are eight, five, and four. And we're embarking on this journey to become homesteaders. And essentially what that means for us is to become more self-sufficient in growing our food, raising our own meat chickens, continuing on our egg production, and even getting honey from our bees. And so we are so excited to be documenting this progress and having you guys come along the journey with us. Um, our kids are gonna be right here with every step of the way. They are homeschoolers and that's something that started new for us last year. So you're probably gonna see a little bit of our life as homeschoolers as well, which some days are great and some days are crazy. <laughs> But all in all, we're just so excited to be doing this. And we're excited to be doing this with YouTube as well because you know, YouTube is where we have gotten so much information and really where we've learned the skills to do what we've done thus far. And we cannot wait to just inspire and encourage others to do what others have inspired and encouraged us to do. Side, so he can eat all the chicken food. But <laughs> that's that's how my I, fertilizer. So that, that, that. That's, how I, that's how a dog got sick, eating all the poop. So, Zach, you want to tell us what you're doing here? I'm, I'm collecting the eggs. Collecting the eggs. How many eggs do we have today? We have four. It's like one red, juice giant, silky, and then we have an Easter egg. A lot of what I've been trying to do is trying to find ways to let the chickens eat up more natural um, diet and so going and foraging um, making sure they've got plenty of things to scratch on here and we've been bringing all of our chicken uh, kitchen scraps to the kit chickens uh, and throwing it in and so they'll come in and, and peck at that but one other thing that I've done and I actually haven't even told Tamara about this yet if you can see that bucket hanging right there Oh, that please tell me that's not a maggot farm. It is a maggot farm. So farm. I, took some, oh. um, <laughs> I took some leftover yeah. steak I told you. <laughs> um, and a couple other meats and I put in there in a bucket just with some uh, some holes drilled in the sides. Well, why don't you go lift the lid? Oh, well, it stinks. <laughs> that's why. It's, it's not... Okay. It's not to improve the aroma of the area. Uh, but it is to give them something else to eat. And maggots are a great uh, source of protein. Uh, and it's about as natural as you can get. So. All right. Well, so what we have that we're adding. Well, <laughs> actually, the German Shepherd just took the cameraman away. Anyways, so we are moving to a... Um, home center life because we want to start growing our own food and raising our own meat and we're on an acre and a half and we just fenced in this area and tell me it remind me again how hey bud <laughs> this is mando he's a he'll he just turned a year anyways how big is this area again honey it is 140 feet by 60 feet 140 by 60 so the the reason we got this to begin with was because of the dogs this is Mando, and we have Sally, who is also a German Shepherd, and they dig. And we haven't been able quite yet to um, train them out of that bad habit. And so we put this fence up, one, for the dogs, and two, as you can see, we have our chickens. Our chicken run is um, right behind where the camera is, actually. Um, and we put a little chicken gate, and we'll show you this in just a minute. We put a little chicken gate, so in the mornings we open it up and they get to go from their run all the way into this big section. 
And our plan is, is that all along this fence line, it's 10 feet from post to post. So we have um, our, on our plan to do raspberries on this section. I don't remember exactly what we said was going to go where. But I know raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and then in somewhere a grapevine. So, so we're doing raised beds back here. We're just starting with two. Um, big ones, which are eight by four, I believe. And then I have a small one here that has a cool little greenhouse that goes on top. So I haven't quite decided what's going in that. But um, I mean, if we keep going for Christmas, I got this awesome greenhouse. So that's where I'm gonna be starting our seeds. So we are new to all of this. I technically have a black thumb. I've not had much success with gardening. I mean, I've, I've done little um, plots here and there, but never have I been able to say, um, you know, this is really from our garden. So we are just kind of diving in and we want to document all of it. And thank you guys so much for watching our videos, coming along this journey, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye.